So somebody feels like they hit the target with you or someone is about to hit the target with you. Somebody thought they put an end to something. Somebody may have wanted um, you to not be alive anymore. Someone was working really hard to put an end to maybe your love life. <clears throat> but things are about to blow up. There's a big there's a big tower moment, big bazooka, uh, big bomb. Something's about to explode. Somebody thinks that they foiled some sort of plan. And I feel like it has to do with um, some sort of love interest coming your way. Cats rule and dogs drool in the reverse. Someone thought they were better than you. <clears throat> Diet is die with a T in the reverse. So someone may have literally wanted you to um, be dead and not alive anymore. And someone couldn't finish the job. Um, nap attack. So someone may be too lazy, um, sluggish, maybe feeling depressive. Someone was overeating. Someone may have... Um, gained weight or have done um, like weight gaining spells or something on somebody to try to make somebody gain weight so that they didn't seem attractive to somebody. It's really weird. But it happens. So somebody thought they were going to put it into your love life. By doing some sort of spells to make you gain weight or something. And somebody thought they foiled the plans again. They thought that um, someone was not going to come towards you. But that's not the case. Because someone's about to hit the target. Someone's going to come near somebody. Or go towards somebody. <clears throat> Why did the can crusher quit his job? He was so depressed. Yeah, someone is depressive. Someone, <laughs> I told you, someone is depressive. Nap attack. Someone's sluggish. People are like refrigerators. It's what inside that matters. Someone sees um, that you're very beautiful on the inside collective. But there's an enemy in the camp. There's someone that's working against you to try to stop this love connection from happening. Someone's sleeping on the couch. If someone is in a connection with somebody, they're sleeping on the couch. They're not even sleeping in the same bed together anymore. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. This person is trying to disrupt your life and make your life hell, but whatever's going on in their life and their energy, um, their marriage is not going well. If they're married, their relationship's not going well. They're sleeping on the couch. And that, I feel like that is that enemy in the camp um, because they're throwing um, stones in a glass house and they're trying to hide the evidence of something. And the past is knocking. Someone from the past may want to come back to you. Um, and this may have someone concerned or worried. There may be someone going through a divorce at this time. And um, this may be your ex. Um, take it how it resonates. Um, <clears throat> but it could be somebody that you were in a relationship who is um, ending a relationship with who they are in a relationship with now. Things are not going well. It's kind of fun to do the impossible in the reverse. Somebody thought that something was going to be impossible. Somebody thought that something would never happen, that um, you and this person would never get together. They thought that they succeeded in whatever they were doing. Okay, so I had, sorry, I didn't pick up my phone in the reverse. So uh, somebody may have left somebody on red. Somebody may not have responded. Somebody may have someone blocked, not, resp re not responding to phone calls at this time. And this has somebody crying. Someone that's blocked from contacting you is crying and upset. Um, they're looking at your photo. They're thinking about you. And they're confused. They don't know how they ended up in the situation they're in. Um, they're, they're really confused. They don't know why you have them blocked. They thought whatever they were doing was going to work. I feel like they were working on some sort of plan or scheme to um, reel you back in. But it looks like they're dealing with somebody else that sleeping on the couch. Smiles are contagious. Be a carrier. Somebody may have caught something. Nothing else wants to come out of there. So I will grab my Woodstock cards. I 
Yep, yeah, you were in a, rela a relationship with this person. This is a couple in the reverse. So this is someone that you were in a relationship with. And they are in a relationship or in the process of ending a relationship with somebody else. There's trouble in paradise and they're splitting up. Um, and they're crying, looking at your photo. Y you may have this person blocked on social media or phone calls. Um, they're really missing you and they're really confused. They're all up in their feelings. This person may be um, trying to keep their identity hidden or their feelings hidden. Um, they're keeping their feelings and emotions hidden. They don't want you to know or they haven't expressed directly to you that they're having these feelings. Um, maybe it's because you have them blocked, but they're keeping something hidden. Um, somebody was paid to do something. There was money exchanged for something. And there's another masculine in the reverse. So I hate to say this, but for some, there could be a masculine who was on the down low and was involved in a relationship with another masculine and you were not aware of it. And that may be why they're confused. They're confused about their sexuality, about which way to go. They could even have married a man. And no, and no one knows. They could be trying to keep something secretly hidden. Somebody's paying someone to watch and record you. Keep an eye on you. In the past, this person thought it was funny to drain your resources. They stood back and watched. And they, they looked at you as a source of income. They looked at you as just a way to make money. But they fucked around and fell in love. I feel like this was like a love scam or a scam artist gone wrong. <clears throat> you were in a full-blown relationship with this person, but they only had finances on the brain. This is kind of like that gold digger energy. And you could be of opposite sex, like a masculine and feminine. But this masculine um, was actually in a relationship with another masculine. And that is why they're so confused. So this is definitely not going to apply for everybody. Um, there could have been a family. <clears throat> this person could have turned their back on a whole family to be with this person. Um, this masculine energy I'm picking up on could have turned their back on an entire family. They may have kicked you and your entire family out um, to be in this relationship with this other masculine energy. Don't get mad at me. I just read the cards. <laughs> you could be in hermit mode now. Um, isolating, just kind of being celibate. You may be unaware that this happened or that this is going on. Um, they hide it well. They definitely hide it well. But if you have intuitive gifts or talents, you may be aware um, of what is going on with this masculine. You may have had suspicions. Now I have to hit up my Ren and Stimpy's. <clears throat> Oh yeah, someone is angry right now. Someone is really upset. Oh, that's because this was unrequited love. Whoever this person is in a relationship with now, they're no longer in love with that person. <clears throat> this masculine could have been in love with this other masculine at one time, but um, they lost the feelings for them, and this has the other person very upset. Somebody is putting a stop to something. Something has been put at a dead hall. This is like hangman energy. Someone is taking a moment to pause and reflect about something. <clears throat> and that's because they want to come jumping towards you. This masculine energy wants to put a stop to this other relationship and come running towards you. And um, the person they are with, the other masculine that they are in a relationship with, is very upset about this and they don't want the relationship to end. This person can't take it anymore. They don't want to be with this person. Um, whatever feelings they did have, they've, they've lost those feelings and they're very irritable and grouchy and depressed and they just don't want to be with this person anymore. But they don't want to come and admit to you the truth about them being in a relationship with another masculine. Their families may not approve of this relationship or may not even be aware that they're in this relationship.
grab my pink voids real quick. Yep, somebody wants to have a new beginning. Someone wants to have a new cycle, but they're stuck. This is Hangman Energy in reverse, but they're stuck from having that. And this was your twin flame. The, these are your twin flames. These are, I look at this one as twin flames in the white. In the brown ones, I look at the false, as the false twin flame. This was your twin flame in the past, and they're stuck from coming towards you. You guys are mirror, you're mirroring each other's emotions and energies. This person wants to be with you. They want to be with you. They're very confused, but they're stuck. They have to end out whatever relationship this is. They're sleeping on the couch or the other person is. I feel like it's this person, though, the one that wants to come towards you, Divine Femme, Divine Masculine, whoever this is resonating for. Um, yeah. Mm. Someone may have said that they were pregnant or may have gotten someone pregnant. So, um, if the, if the, um, they may have an open relationship and this masculine is actually bisexual. That's why he is so confused. And he ended up hooking up with another female another karmic female and they may have said that they were pregnant or they may have had a miscarriage or something like that and this masculine is very confused or this also could just be that um this masculine did not expect to you know have those feelings for you and those feelings grew and um you know like a baby grows you know like they were not expecting to catch those sorts of feelings so it could go either way, depending on how it resonates. For some people, it's going to be that this person was bisexual and got another female pregnant. And another scenario is that they didn't get somebody pregnant, but they they grew feelings for you and they were not expecting that. Which is kind of what I said with they fucked around and found out. So, I mean, that makes sense for this person um, being your twin flame and mirroring each other um, you don't have to be bisexual just to be you know to be this person's twin flame I'm just saying um, you guys mirror each other like your mannerisms like the way you think um, the way you do things your emotions and this is like hangman energy again um, yeah, I kind of look at this as hangman energy. So yeah, someone is stuck. Um, someone is very stuck. They're taking a moment to pause and reflect though, because they want to be with you, but they're with another man. <laughs> I told you, um, there's a masculine that's with another masculine, but they caught feelings for you and they may have even been married in the past. You may have even been married to this person in the past. Um, or just in a relationship, or just live together, but this masculine is definitely involved with another masculine. They are in a relationship, and this person is your twin flame, whoever this is resonating for, and they caught feelings for you, and they were not expecting that at all, because they view themselves more towards the, the, the gay side, not the straight side. <laughs> All right, let's get some more mess. Um, let's get into some tarot cards here. Let's find out what's going on here. He wants to be your king of cups. This is a king of cups energy. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely picking up on a masculine, being with another masculine, and um, we'll see if your energy comes out, Divine Femme, Divine Masculine. And it could be that this is, you know, a gay um, man, one, you know, wanting another man, but 
this person is very confused about their feelings, and I'm getting really strongly that this is a um, someone who, even if they have been married or bisexual, they do not advertise their bisexuality. Nobody knows. Like, even their own family doesn't know. But um, they are definitely in a full-blown relationship with another man. I cannot make this shit up. <laughs> oh... I, I didn't know if I was reading it wrong or what, but I am right. Like, this is a king of cups with a king of swords. Um, so this is definitely a same-sex relationship that um, this person is involved in. And they're feeling very confused. I'm going to reverse those because they came out the other way. The king of cups came out before the king of swords. Man, I was... <laughs> I haven't done too many same-sex reads, so this one caught me off guard. But I definitely picked up on the energy. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting it. It was um, a little bit shocking. Someone is going to be moving out. One of these men are going to be moving out or traveling towards you. see this coming <laughs> oh yeah okay so these came out sideways they flew out okay yeah one of these gentlemen and I believe it's the king of cups um, wants to come towards you they want to be your king of cups one of them is going to be moving out and one of them is coming towards you um, and I believe it's the King of Cups that's coming towards you. They want to start a new cycle with you. And this is in the near future. Like, I look at my sideways cards like near future um, energy. And they want to make you a love offer. Um, they want to, they're, they're going to be communicating a very solid love offer with you. I'm just not sure if they're going to be honest with you about this other relationship. This relationship may have been why they ghosted you in the past. Um, because they do so well to keep this relationship hidden. Um, that they might not live together. Or they didn't live together at one time. Or they keep it hidden that they live together. Um, I'm really getting that like threes company vibe. Like, you know, um, only the opposite. Instead of him trying to convince, you know someone he's gay um he's um it's the opposite he's a straight person living um a gay lifestyle and someone was a gold digger queen of pentacles in the reverse so there was someone that this masculine thought you were a gold digger in the past and that was another reason well actually this king of cups was actually the gold digger in reverse because i already stated that someone was using someone for resources so this was kind of like, I, I feel like this is some sort of relationship scam that he's in a relationship with another masculine, but he got in a relationship with a woman for finances, for financial stability to milk her for, of her money and fucked around and caught feelings for her. Yep, somebody lost something um, of big, significant uh, monetary value. Someone didn't get a new beginning. Um, someone lost something um, that was worth a lot of money after a relationship ended. But now this person sees you as their Ten of Cups. Um, they lost their money. Because of whatever they did to you, this person has lost their ability to make money in some way. And they're walking away from this person because they want a Ten of Pentacles with you. This is... Yeah. They're, this One of these masculines, the King of Cups, was a gold digger in the past. They're going to walk away from this other masculine. And they see you as their Ten of Pentacles. They see you as their financial stability and their home. They... Man, this person is really confused. No wonder he's so depressed. Yeah, whatever he's been working on, it didn't manifest. It didn't grow anything. Whatever he did, it failed. And this other partner, this other masculine partner, 
could have been the one that was keeping the relationship from happening. They thought that they succeeded in um, doing this, but this relationship was going to end. This King of Cups is going to walk away from this King of Swords. Yeah, they were very immature in the past. They acted very immature. Knight of Wands in reverse. This person was really immature. And because of that, the things that they worked on, it didn't manifest. It didn't go anywhere. Yep, someone was a false high priestess. Someone was a false high priestess in the past. Or they thought you were. They thought you were a fake and a fraud. That's what it is. They thought you were a fake and a fraud. But now all of a sudden they want to come and defend you. They they gave their wand to somebody else, obviously. They didn't make you the love offer they should have. They may have. They may have even proposed to you. I told you that you were in a full-blown relationship with this person because that's how the scam works. They move you into their house steal your shit and then kick you out basically and then get like some sort of like protective order or no trespassing order or some crazy shit and then like try to set you up to get arrested or something basically it's to ruin your life and so they just this person was really shady in the past <laughs> i'm not gonna lie Knight of Wands, someone's going to be coming towards you with some information and some truth about a situation. This person caused you to be in a situation because that's the whole point of whatever this scam is. The whole purpose is to take you basically for what you can get. This person was not innocent. This person was very shady in the past, but now they're going to come towards you and offer you some sort of, um, I'm hearing consolation prize and it sounds so bad. They're going to come offer you some sort of like gift. They're going to come and bring you some sort of gift as if it's going to make it all better. But this person was doing a lot. This They were a magician. They caused a tower moment. This person lied and slandered you. Their whole scam is to basically ruin your life and set you up to fail or get arrested or something like that so they can take all your shit. This person lied about you and this caused a tower moment. This brought a tower moment to this person. And they sure as hell didn't expect to catch feelings for you, but they did. But they created an injustice with what they did. Because they fell in love with you. The Queen of Cups in reverse. And this is in reverse because this is past energy, not because they're karmic. Um... The, the reversals that are coming out, and you have to read them. That's what, that is what is hard about tarot reading sometimes. Sometimes it's not always the karmic energy that comes out in reverse. Sometimes when they come out in reverse, it's the past energy. So even though you came out as the high priestess in reverse and the queen of cups, that does not mean that you were a false person. This person viewed you as a false person, but then they fucked around and caught feelings for you. And they came out as the ten of cups, or the king of cups. And they see you as the Ten of Pentacles, so they see you as their happiness. I mean, wow. Yeah, this person took something that was um, a big monetary value from you. Um, they took your new beginning away. They took something that um, was very um, big financially. And you may not know it. I mean, you probably do, though. Because if it was worth that much... Um, yeah, this person tried to take you for everything that you had. Alright, let's get some other cards here. Before I run out of time. This was definitely a different read. <laughs> The burning question, will this person, the dark before the dawn, the burning question, the stuff dreams are made out of. So in the past, this person didn't think you would ever make it out of the darkness, and they didn't see you as the stuff dreams were made out of. A cancer could be significant, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or, or Capricorn could be significant. There could be significant something significant about June.
Somebody lost everything but the kitchen sink in this deal. So you took a big financial hit from this, whatever, whoever this is for. And you may have ended up between a rock and a hard place because of what this person did. And it was all for money. Um, but you're going... This person has money to burn. This person is wealthy. They just hide it. Um, and that, that is how they make their money. And they're going to be throwing out a Hail Mary pass 11th hour. They didn't... <laughs> cute as a button in reverse. They didn't think that they were going to get so attached to you. But they did. They got really attached to you. So this may not have... This this is future energy um, and past energy. So um, this masculine is planning on leaving this other masculine and coming towards you in the future. No guts, no glory. This person's working on the courage to come towards you and tell you the truth. You may have been very angry with this person by what they did to you in the past, and I don't blame you. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. This person is thinking about you all the time. They're looking at your picture. Yeah, no time like the present and the reverse. So this person never thought that um, this was going to go anywhere or you, they thought that the past was in the past and that this was just a wild goose chase. Um, they're really confused. They didn't expect to catch feelings for you, but they can't stop thinking about you. But they ended up going through a lot of trials and tribulations because of what they did to you. And once again, cancer is significant. And this is your long lost love. And also a Gemini could be significant. I want you to forgive and forget. <laughs> this person is never look back. They don't want you to look back to the past. They want to move forward with you. They may not even want to discuss the past, but you're going to expect some sort of answers and the truth about what happened. When this relationship ended, they were not honest with you about why. This person is going to come back and determined, ready to work this out. I feel like a begging and pleading. And they're not going to look back to their old life. They're... The message I'm getting is they're claiming that they're going to throw away the past life and not look back and deal with that stuff anymore. But, um, yeah, I guess we'll see. All right, let's get a few letters here before we close this up. Letter W could be significant. The letter N could be significant. The letter H could be significant. This could be a person, place, or thing. The letter M could be significant. And the letter A could be significant. So I hope this helps folks. Have a good night.